every branch where in me that does not do what that does not bear fruit what does the father do he takes away and every branch that bears fruit what does the father do he prunes so that what can happen that it may bear more fruit in other words the father is expecting fruit from how many branches everybody now every branch every believer every believer every platform every nation every branch in me in other words we are branches of jesus do you know that the life of jesus has branched into you hey i said the life of christ has branched into you in romans chapter 11 we are told that we have been grafted into the good olive tree and now the nourishing sap hallelujah the life that is flowing in the olive tree in the vine is pouring into the branches jesus has branched into you do you know that jesus himself is also a branch the bible calls jesus the branch in the book of jeremiah god said i'm going to send you the branch but jesus is not our branch he is the only branch of the father hey that means that everything in the father is inside the branch so picture the roots in heaven you know the lord showed me that god's tree grows upside down from our own perspective you see our roots are in heaven then you have one big branch jesus christ that came down from heaven and then when he arrived on earth what did he do now he started branching he started branching he branched into the apostles and the early disciples and those ones as they preached the gospel they themselves kept branching and the church kept branching and branching and branching and branching that's how you became a branch because the life of christ was flowing through other people and it eventually branched into you every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away every branch that bears he prunes so that it may do what they are more so watch now every branch is capable of bearing more are you are you in agreement with that that's why he's pruning it 